Yo, what's going on everybody? Gabriel Santos here from gfsantos.com. Apparently having high energy in videos, how's it? Right? Anyway. <laughs> um, in today's video, we're going to talk about the being and embodying the wise stoner or the mature stoner, okay? Um, doesn't have to be, you know, attached to stoner, but my whole point is for those of us that are here to overcome and transform our pot use and to no longer be addicted, to no longer be dependent on weed and to be free to move forward in our lives and have results and have the money and the freedom and the emotional expression and the whatever you're up to that you want, but you feel like this whole thing with weed is holding you back. Okay. All of this comes from my own journey, my own experience. And um, as it relates to being the wise stoner or the mature stoner, whew, here's the thing, right? You already know exactly what you should probably do, right? You know that you know that when you fall in a pattern of, of smoking every day and being a lazy bum and not doing anything or whatever, that might be, not be the case exactly. But you're just aware that, you know, I am not using weed in the way that best serves me, yet I just can't stop, right? You are in a pattern of pleasure seeking. You are in a pattern of avoiding your responsibilities. And it's hard, right? The momentum of your smoking just whenever to feel good and to not do what you need to do it is fucking huge right it started like this now it's fucking huge right and it's hard it's hard okay but deep down deep in the back of your mind and in your heart you know you know exactly what the next step is the next step is to whatever it is for you for me it is i know i need to go a full day without smoking and that will then bring me slowly back up and then I can spiral back up right but when it's fucking huge going downhill it really takes like some fucking force initially to be like ah, pushing that boulder back up you know what I'm saying the boulder is an analogy for just smoking all the fucking time right and so it takes some fucking force and that's what I learned in my journey okay there inevitably has been things you've learned on your journey, right? You've had small wins with weed, whether you went a day free, whether you went a week without weed or whatever that makes you happy, right? You know exactly what you need to do next, right? And I know it's hard sometimes. I know it's hard. Maybe your muscle to say no hasn't developed as, as much as I've had to or some others have had to, right? The thing is you know. The thing is you fucking know, right? And so... If you find yourself in a relapse experience or a pattern of going backwards and using weed all the time again, my advice, what I encourage you to do is to engage with the wisdom in you and, and, and step away from the trying to think your way out of it. And even maybe try and, and, and step away from doing your way out of it. You get what I'm saying? Like, Really tap into that wiser side of you that's there, okay? Do whatever you got to do and just be like, damn, like, I need to do what I know I need to do. And you're going to have to go through whatever type of emotional or physical pain that you're going to have to go through, whether it's, you know, insomnia type symptoms or headaches or whatever. And to be frank... If we're going to be fucking real, you deserve the fucking headache. You deserve the insomnia. You're the one that's smoking all the fucking time. Okay? So, deal. Look, you either stop now or take a break now and deal with the headaches now. Or you fucking keep smoking for 30 fucking years and the headaches... You're still going to have to deal with the headaches 30 years from now, except it's going to be 30 years worse. So you just, you're just going to have to fucking sack up, okay? And I come from a place of love because every time I've had to fucking 
take myself out of that loop of smoking all the time, it hurts and it sucks and my life's in shambles. I'm not perfect, you get what I'm saying? I'm not perfect. I'm not the 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 all hearsay God of what you need to do with weed. What I'm saying to you from experience is that you can either fuck yourself over a million times and eventually learn through pain and experience, which is a great teacher that, damn it, I just know from my experience that when I keep smoking, even though I know I shouldn't, my life keeps going in ways of suffering that I don't like. And that every time I do whatever I need to do, whether it's take a day off or whatever, wean yourself off, that things get better. And so activate that wise part of you and be like, God dang it. God dang it. Right? Just know yourself. Know thyself, as they say. And better yet, love thyself. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. The wise part of you knows exactly what you need to do. You don't need any more videos on how to figure out how to get out of it. You know exactly what you fucking need to do. You just need to stop. And you need to take responsibility for the cravings. And stop fucking letting thoughts and emotions control you. Like, look, if we want to be really real, and I want to be as sensitive as I can to people who are going through addiction. Look. You're watching this video because you want fucking answers and you want solutions, right? Not to, you don't want to keep doing this, okay? You don't want to keep in this negative spiral, okay? So if that's really fucking true, if that's really fucking true, if you really want to solve it, then fucking do it. Then fucking do it. And I know it's hard and I know, I know, I know how fucking hard it is. If you don't, if you want to know how fucking hard it was for me and how dark it was, go look at my video Called, titled like dark footage from 2014 when I was super fucking deep in addiction. Okay, go look that up. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. This channel is not to fucking coddle you all the time. This channel is not to baby you because you go through addiction. I get how fucking shitty it is, guys. The thoughts just don't stop. And if, if really you can't, you really can't, if you really, really, really can't, you need to see a specialist. You need to see a professional. I worked with a drug counselor for a little bit way back in the day. I hired a coach to help me and I still work with them. We don't talk, we don't talk as much about weed now. We talk about other things, but I hired professionals, guys. I hired professionals because I needed fucking professional help. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. And if you really want professional help and you want me to help you, reach out to me, okay? The, the intention of this video was not to sell you on my services, but to be perfectly honest, I'm probably one of the best fucking people that can help you in the area of weed addiction, known to fucking men, straight up. Not only have I been through weed addiction, not only have I really grown through my weed addiction and transformed the fuck out of it, all right? I've been trained to be a life coach, which means I have the fucking skills to work with people, all right, so mesh those three two things together, and here I am, all right? Anyways, my hope is that you don't need me, okay? My hope is that you just fucking get out of this hypnotic state that you're in, that we all go through. I go through it too when I smoke weed habitually, all right? You're gonna have to cut that shit out. Pattern interrupt, all right? Do whatever you fucking need to go. Jump in, go jump in a fucking super cold pool. Go take a cold shower. Go fucking do 30 push-ups, jumping jacks, all right? Okay? Because the cycle that you're on, that people are on, that we're on when we're downward spiraling, it's fucking hypnotic. You're just on a robotic state. That's why addiction is so scary. Because you feel like you're not in control. Because low-key, you're not, okay? And I'm not blaming you like, oh, you're not in control. Like, literally, addiction is so far deep in victimhood and so far deep, you know, it's mixed with trauma and all these things, right? But it's so fucking like you are you get so lost that you you know you end up fucking watching thirty thousand videos and watching videos on how to get out of it. Okay, I empathize with you, I get it. But now is not the time for coddling. Now is the time to fucking do something about it. Do something about it. Alright? And with that, okay, if you can't seem to get yourself to action, it's okay. 
be gentle with yourself. <laughs> it's okay. 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 Love yourself. But push comes fucking shove. You either don't smoke the weed today or you do. All right? So, a combination of self-compassion, forgiveness, and like being super brutally fucking honest with yourself and going and doing it, yin-yang, so to speak, there's your answer, all right? <sighs> See you in the next video. Peace!